What's going on, people? You already know what it is. This is your boy Tucci, and this is YBE TV. Today, I want to give you a review on a company called Premier Transportation. But before I do that, you already know I got to pay some bills. Hit me up at www.ybetv.org. You already know. Hit me on that to ask me a question. Go to the Ask Tune tab, type in your information, and shoot it out. But before we go to the next thing, we got to pay a sponsor. Our first sponsor is YBE TV. They have a business course that they're offering, and that business course is hosted by me, Tune. And guess what about the business course? We're going to teach you how to correctly structure your business, and also we're going to teach you how to build business credit. You already know. Check that out on www.ybetv.org slash course. But let's get into it. Premier Transportation. Honestly, I will honestly say I give them rating about a 6 out of 10. The pay. Now, now this one right here, I was going through a transition. I was going through a divorce. Didn't want to show too much money. Didn't want to show too little money. Signed on to Premier, and I played both sides. I dealt with owner op- being an owner-operator and a company driver. During the divorce, of course, company driver. Didn't want to show any money. You know you know how the transition is in the divorce. You know how that goes. Right now, they're offering a $5,000 sign-on bonus to Indiana drivers. Only thing I could say is, number one, you're going to earn it. You're going to earn it. Premier Transportation is one of the most tedious, physically straining companies that I've ever dealt with. Like, I had blood in my urine. I'm not even making this up. Like, I literally, and and this came from, you know, like, I'm not going to blame that on them fully because I wasn't as active as I should be. But you're going to work. Okay, you deal with a lot of accounts like Home Goods. I was dealing with uh, Home Goods, and I was dealing with, um, what was another one I was dealing with? Uh, uh, um, I went on the account for... uh, 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 it was a tractor supply store. It was like a tractor supply store. I can't even think of it. I think the name of it, tractor supply, I think. I think it was tractor supply. And I went out and, you know, you get, go up at peak times. You Well, we was on paper logs at that time. We was doing the paper logs. And, like, it, it wasn't no joke. It was not no joke. And the home goods runs was, like, home goods and, I think, Kmart. Kmart and home goods. They come out, they hook to your truck with the uh, with the little rollers, and you they they go all the way in your truck with the rollers. And when I tell you, you have to unload that truck. It'll be three brackets. The first bracket, when you hit that, you're done with that store. The next bracket, when you hit that, you're done with that store. And the next bracket, you empty out the truck, and then you're done with your day. You have to pace yourself and you have to move. When I tell you, I would I put on my headphones and I get to work. Uh, 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 uh. Man, lifting that stuff, those carpets and everything, and getting them on that rails, you definitely bust a sweat. And you definitely get to going, and it's no joke. And I just always felt like. As an owner-operator, I dealt with more of the tractor supply as an owner-operator. And as a company driver, I dealt with more of the uh, the home goods one. Either way it go, I just honestly feel that I did not make the money I supposed to make. With such a tedious job, you would think that you would make in the thousands, and I wasn't. As an uh, owner-operator, I was barely clearing twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300. And you know, like, after expenses, that's really not no money. So, as an owner-operator, I would not tell you to go there. As a company driver, 
you could possibly make some okay money. Like as a company driver, what was I making? Like sometimes eight, nine hundred dollars. You could do okay, but you stayed out. I stayed out Monday through Friday, and they tried to find a way to get me home. They was pretty good about getting me home on Friday. I definitely got home every Friday, and I, I you know, enjoyed my weekend. And it was what it was. So I, um, I did what I had to do, and and I and I stayed there. As long as I needed to. As far as the fuel, I, I don't remember anything that stuck out as far as the company goes. Um, honestly, I, I really don't see anything that stuck out. Um, they got a sign-on bonus now. I'm on the site now. They got a sign-on bonus. And I just I don't think that they spectacular. Like I said before, I've worked with a lot of companies. I'm not really... Uh, loyal to too many companies um, except the companies that was loyal to me. Uh, I got a re lot of respect and loyalty to SLT. I got a lot of respect for um, for Snyder. I definitely got a lot of respect for Snyder on the operator side, of course. And um, I got a lot of respect for um, Mercer. Those are the top three. And I will honestly say that a lot of these other companies are not impressive and they really don't want to pay the drivers. And this is one of them. This is one of them. I would definitely tell you to stay away from them. I ran into a lot of on the operate, I mean, company drivers, and they say, man, I make, made $1,200 last week, man. I took that home. And I was like, how did you do that? And the majority of them was running legal. This is one of the companies that you definitely definitely especially as a company driver to make a decent paycheck you will definitely have to run illegal matter of fact to make to double back on that i didn't i don't think i made too much over six hundred dollars when i was over there as a company driver so they they don't pay too good they definitely don't pay too good from my understanding they do, do not pay too good so that's all i gotta say um I hope you guys uh, uh, enjoyed that. I hope you guys take heed to it. Premier Transportation, definitely for me, a no-go. Definitely for me, a no-go. I'm not a fan of them. I would not. If I would have to go there again, I choose suicide. Suicide over going back. No, thank you. Don't even like it. Don't like peeing blood. Uh, and that, that was possibly my fault for being out of shape, but very tedious. Very tedious. Rather do flatbed. If I'm on if I'm on work that hard, rather do flatbed and get paid for it. That's all I gotta say. So um that's a no go to me. That's definitely a no go. I hope this helps people make up their mind. Definitely. Premier transportation, I give it two thumbs down. You already know what it is. It's your boy Tunchi, and you already know if you don't wanna end up in a box. Think outside of it. YB. Drug dealing and killing is going on in my town. Yeah, don't take a killer to kill or a driller to drill. She just being yourself is the definition of real.